it is that time of the year again when we experience minor heat waves you know when the weather is gradually transitioning from the rainy season to the dry season the environmental temperature tends to go way higher and in the farm it causes something that we know as heat stress actually it's not the fault of the farmer it's climatic change the only thing the farmer can do is just to change some of the management practices to counter it because this affects both the layers and the broilers the performances go down in this period so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you some of the management practices to tackle his stress in poultry and the video is starting right now if i proceed with the video i want to plead with you to take the few seconds off to like this video recently youtube stopped recommending my content because they said people are not engaging well and <laughs> People watch my video, but they comment too, but I notice that the like is way too low. So please support the channel by liking. It encourages me to keep creating content around poultry farm and my farming experiences as a whole. Now, heat stress. Heat stress is a major issue in the poultry industry that many people don't tend to talk about or reason about it. Because imagine you've raised your bed well. Your management practice is on point, but somehow your production is crashing. Your bears are dying. And it's not your fault. It's not a disease condition. Just climatic change. That's way too bad. So during the heat stress period, what you notice is um, the bears tend to drop. The feed consumption rate drops. The bears don't feel like eating because they, the environment is too hot for them. And when the bears are not eating, there will certainly be a drop in production. The heat stress can also cause increased mortality. In appearance, what you notice about the bears is that they tend not to move around often. They prefer to just lie down. They don't eat much. You notice them opening their wings to be able to allow breeze to pass through and other behaviors. So here are a few management practices you can adjust to enable you tackle this heat stress. The first and the most important management practice in tackling heat stress is centered around the construction of your poultry house. You know, the sun rises from the east and sets in the west, while the north and the south serves as the direction of the wind. So in construction of poultry houses, is, poultry houses are normally constructed to be rectangular, with the shorter axis facing the sun, which is the east and west direction why the longer axis is facing the direction of the wind which happens to be the north and south direction this is very very important if you construct your poultry house properly in this orientation you won't really be affected by this heat stress plus you also need to plant trees around your poultry house anyway tall trees not short ones that will be blocking the ventilation number two the next thing you need to do about tackling heat stress in this time of heat stress is the time that farmers start spraying cold water on their bears every hour. You can get this machine that are used to spray chemicals. Just put normal room temperature water and spray on the bears on intervals every day. It helps control, it helps drop the, the heat around them. The heat around their body tends to drop within that period and it makes the bears comfortable to resume their activities thereby increasing the production the next thing you need to also put into consideration about management practice to tackle this heat stress is the ventilation and spacing of your beds yeah this is where the floor spacing comes into play and also the trees that you planted around the poultry tend to help during the time of heat stress one of the things you can also do is to give them cool water now as a farmer the time of heat stress you notice that the water in your tanks happen to be way hotter than normal so what we normally do about the water issue is early in the morning you fetch enough water that you know that will serve the best throughout the day you know early in the morning the water in the tank are still cool because the cool breeze of the night helped to drop the temperature in the tanks so early in the morning you give you fetch the entire water you know that your best will be consuming that's where paying keen attention is important because 
at this point is where you need to know exactly how much water your bears are consuming or even if you don't know exactly how much they are consuming you need to know how much they cannot consume so you fetch that if your bears are consuming like say 30 liters in a day you need to keep 50 liters aside early in the morning so that they will use it throughout the day the next thing you can do to counter this heat stress is to give them supplement the supplement here is just multivitamin you know multivitamin helps to tackle stress the heat is stressful and the multivitamin gives them the it improves their immune system and helps them tackle this issue then the next if you if you formulate your feed yourself this is the time to reduce your main source of energy and increase your fat source of energy i don't know how well even commercial feed millers this commercial feed that we do buy around this time of the year, they normally reduce the maize content that they put in their feed. So if you pay keen attention to prices, you notice that at this point the prices of feed tends to go down because they don't use much of maize anymore. They instead they increase their oil sources, and then the management practice to help your bears perform better this period is just to change the time and the hour you give them feed. This period, the best time to give your best feed is just to um, give them very early in the morning and then later in the evening. When very early in the morning, when the sun is not yet out and the effect of the coldness of the night is still in effect, and then in the evening when the sun has gone down. Now, if you run broiler farming, you know I encourage people to give their broilers 24 hours light, 12 hours light during the daytime and then you give them artificial light till the next morning over here we notice that our bears tend to eat more you see period right now some of them are lying down look around i don't force them to eat right now it's just a few of them that are eating everywhere is hot but very early in the morning they consume a lot and then in the night they meet up their daily requirement that's basically how to control heat stress in these times. But I want you to know something. This is just a minor heat wave. This one is the one that is happening because the weather is just transitioning from the rainy season to the dry season. Now, the main heat period is coming. And that one happens around that kind of February, March, when the weather is also transitioning from the dry season to the rainy season. At times, it gets up to a month, and that's when farmers and farms notice more decreased production and increased mortality. So use these few management practices I've shared with you to test run your ability to withstand that time. Brace up, guys. The heat period is coming. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment section, and see you in the next video.